In this video, I want to show you a few ways to get help when you're working with traction. Well, the first line of defense is the pop-up help. So you have the pop-up help, which you can turn on and off. You can also delay pop-up help for a couple of seconds. Regardless, I would usually leave that off. Now in the previous video, the one on general settings, we loaded an alternative key mapping and that assigns the context help to F1, which you'd find in many programs. So if you want to get a pop-up help balloon, then hover over any object on the screen and hit F1, and you can get context pop-up help. And those messages are very helpful if we put it over the time bar or really most of these objects on the screen, you can get pop-up help. You'll also see that there's rollover help that appears just up in this area. It typically identifies the object and gives you a one-line summary of what that object is all about. Now, beyond that, I find a tremendous resource is the keyboard shortcut list. So you can come in here and take a look at all of the actions that are available within Traction that that are or can be assigned to keyboard shortcuts. You can also view this as HTML as I showed you before, or you can print this out as a convenient guide. We've also created a cheat sheet for this that's available in the Traction website, as well as a template to go over the function keys to help you as well. Now, also on the Traction website under support videos, and then under current version Traction 5, you'll find a wide variety of videos on specific topics of different things that will help you work with Traction 5. This list is constantly being expanded. And for even more in-depth video coverage of Traction, go to Groove3.com and search for Traction there. Now the Traction website has a general user forum, but for the long-term forum for Traction users, you'll want to go to KVR. If you go to KVR Audio and search for Traction or follow this path, you'll find the forum for Traction. This is the most active Traction forum that exists. Not only can you interact with the other users, but the developers are also very active in participating in the discussion there as well. So those are a few of the ways you can get help when you're learning Traction. Thanks for watching.